Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to discuss about backward propagation in neural network, how it actually works. So to make a sense of this video, I would request you to please have a look on the uh, forward propagation in the same playlist because I am using the same example as I have used in the forward propagation video. So if you are aware about how pro forward propagation works, then you should watch this video. So uh, uh, just a quick recap, I have taken the same data set whereas in I have age column, income column, these are my x1 and x2 variables and by insurance is my predicted, uh, sorry, by insurance is the variable which I want to predict, I take it as a y. So this is my let's say training data, I have taken two uh, neurons in the first input layer and, and I have initialized w1 and w2 some uh, with some random value and this is let's say my uh, uh, one neuron in the hidden layer. So in any hidden layer, there can be any number of neurons and in any neural network, there can be any number of hidden layers. So, but here uh, for the simplicity purpose, I am just taking one neuron. So in forward propagation, we first calculated the weighted sum. Weighted sum is simply the linear equation, WIXI plus B, B is the bias. I, this is again the constant value. We take the sum random value of W1 and W2 and x1 and x2 are given to us so this way we calculated the weighted sum and then whatever the value we calculated this value is passed to the second half of the neurons which is basically the activation function which is represented here as act and i have passed pass ws you can see as this is my weighted sum and then the same way the new weight is assigned for the next layer and let's say y hat is my predicted value so this is the quick recap of the forward propagation and then we calculated uh, the loss function uh, loss is basically the difference between the actual and the predicted value so let's say my model predicted uh, for this particular example uh, for the first row let's say i have given is x1 as 19 and x2 as 35000 and by insurance this was my actual value which is y so this was my zero but let's say assume that my model predicted it as a one so the loss function will be calculated. So loss is here is in this example context is one, which is very high. So the next thing what we have to do uh, in the backward progression start from here, we try to minimize the loss. To minimize the loss, we use the derivatives and uh, we calculate the new values of these weights. How to calculate the new values of these weights? So let's say I start from here and I will calculate the new value of w3 so the formula is going to be w3 new is i am just representing uh, it as with new keyword w3 new is equal to w3 minus plus minus it could be plus or minus and some constant value at learning rate into derivative of loss with respect to derivative with respect to the w3 so uh, in my previous video i discussed about the derivatives so the idea here about taking the derivative is we want to predict how my loss function is changing with respect to uh, change in w3 let's say if i change my uh, w3 if i increase it uh, whether it is increasing my loss or it is decreasing my uh, loss. So this way we can take a decision uh, that whether we should update our W3 in the positive direction or in the negative direction. That means either we should increase it or either we should decrease it. So this is how we calculate the W3 new and once W3 new is calculated, it will pass the, uh, we will take the uh, next we uh, we will go to the next hidden layer and we will take the updated value of W2 2 and w1 so w2 new will be the same way w2 plus minus learning rate into derivative of uh, loss with respect to derivative of w2 so again uh, th this thing will uh, tell me that how my loss function is or how my loss value is changing with respect to a small change into the weight or w2 so if i increase my w2 whether my loss is increasing or whether it is decreasing we calculate this value and then learning rate this is a constant value it could be 0 0.001 and then uh, what then we can calculate w2 new 
because W2 is our the previous value and learning rate we have and derivative of loss with respect to W2 we have calculated. Then this is how we can calculate W2 new and the same way, the exact same way that we are going to use uh, W3, uh, sorry, W1, uh, we are going to update our W, W1 as well. So the formula is going to be same. Let me just so W1 is going to be uh, W1 new is equal to W1 plus learning rate into derivative of loss with respect to W1. So this is how we are going to update. So once we reach, uh, once we calculate the updated values of these weights and once we reach to the first layer of the neural network, then we again start with the forward propagation with the new values of weights. And then we will do the same thing as we have done in the forward propagation. And then again, we will calculate the, uh, we will find the predicted value. Then we will calculate the loss function. This time loss function will be minimum with respect to the previous iteration. So this is how uh, the neural network does the training. And this is how back propagation works. So that's all for this video, guys, in, uh, in this video. Uh, for more such interesting video, keep tuned, uh, keep stay tuned with the, this channel. And I have created a complete machine learning playlist for absolute beginner. You can check out the uh, link in the description box. And deep learning playlist is in the progress. You can check out that video as well. Uh, that's all for this video, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you.